got ticket strips. And we got jalapeno poppers. half mile up the trail um, we're just taking this old logging road or cattleman's road whatever this is but started down at the trailhead we're hiking this thing up we've got four to five days of camp on our back um, food everything we need and then we're gonna get up this trail about a mile and a half or so or it might be a little bit further maybe two miles and then we're going to cut up the side of the mountain on the steep stuff, go straight up that thing, and uh, we're at about 10,100 feet right now. We're going to be camping above 11.2, probably close to 11,400 where we're going to be camping. We're going to be hunting bulls down off the ridges on both sides um, in the dark timber. So, um, great spot. Seems like a great area. I've mapped this thing out for the last couple weeks now. And the more I look at it, the more I feel good about it. Um, there's quite a bit of hunters down at the trailhead, but it doesn't, doesn't really scare me too bad. Uh, this is one of the only trailheads heading into this whole area. So um, I think there's four or five trucks that stayed overnight down there. So there's four or five groups up here spike camping like we're about to. Um, I'm just hoping we're getting higher and further than they're gonna be, but we'll find out once we get up there. Even if there's a little bit of hunting pressure, this is huge country, so we just gotta find the elk. Once we find the elk, we can make a lot better decisions, a lot better game plans revolving where we're gonna camp, everything like that. So we might have to move camp two or three times, but um, once we find elk, we're gonna get close and stay with them. So uh, just hiking this sucker up. We're gonna cut up the mountain. It's going to be a long haul. It's going to be tough. It's going to be steep, but looking forward to getting into elk. about to split off the main trail and go down here across the creek and we're gonna go straight up over this thing and then go straight up over the next one and the next one and the next one there's about five peaks like this we got to get up and over but once we're back there we're back there and I think we'll be the only ones there this country's gorgeous we just went past a tree that had like 15 grouse in it so we might, we might slock a grouse if we see one up at camp. Let's see what this hail does, see if it gets any better or worse. This isn't bad right now, but we just continue on.
praying the whole way up that this pond would have water in it. Some of the other springs coming up that I was hoping would have water in it didn't. This one does, and it's only 500 yards from where we're gonna be camping. So we're gonna bust down this hill, resupply our water stores, make sure we have water, go up, set camp, and uh, start hunting. We're up here, we're real close to where we're gonna be camping, so if we didn't have that water, we'd only be able to stay up here. Tops two days. So we'll go down there, fill up our Nalgene's, get everything situated, and head up to camp. Let's go around and then go down. You could, after you filtered through that, you could technically drink it, but we're going the extra step and putting purification tablets in it. Um, we'll use this for cooking tonight. Keep our main Nalgene's for water, drinking water, and then obviously later on we're gonna have to drink it, but um, for now we're just gonna go with this for cooking. Freaking out country, buddy. Yeah. Look at all that crap, dude. It looks awesome. There's actually a dry spot. One dry spot? Yeah, dude. It was about. Four mile hike up here. Pretty gnar pretty gnarly hike. Um, okay, here we go. I apparently busted my belt in the process, so that that tells you how hard the hike was. I absolutely blew my belt out. Dude, look at that. Look at that fix. That's nice. Have you ever seen something so pretty? Okay, so we got camp all set up. Um, we're up top. We can overlook this big basin to our right, this big basin to our left. We've got a lot of dark timber behind us. This is a lot more open, flat fields. It's like a big mesa on top. And uh, we're gonna get up to this high point, get set up and start glass and see if we can't pick up some elk. Haven't seen any elk hiking in. Saw a lot of sign, but no, uh, no physical animals. So. Um, we're going to get up on the high point, start glassing, see if we can't pick something up, maybe make a play on it tonight, if not, tomorrow morning, figure it out. So, we got camp all set up, the tent's looking good, we got our bags unloaded with all the heavy stuff, and, uh, we're just going lightweight up to the glassing point. So, yeah, we'll see y'all up there. Got elk across the trail right here. In the uh, on the far side of the basin. If we don't see anything over on this side today and tomorrow, we could always just pack up camp, bomb straight across. I was kind of thinking the same there. thing. We found elk, but they're on the other side of the basin. You can definitely get over there, but it's gonna be like a, we got a move camp type thing. Below 10,800, we were seeing a ton of really fresh, really recent sign. Yeah. That herd of elk is right at 10,800 on the other side. Obviously, we're gonna give this a good look all the way till dark tonight, but Tomorrow morning we'll come right back up to this spot. This was the glassing point that I picked out. 
and it obviously is like an awesome vantage we can see forever up here but not picking any elk up below us <coughs> or behind us just elk across the canyon so see what it looks like tomorrow morning give it a good morning hunt morning glass see if anything moves up into these pines but um, we know there's elk on the other side and I want to go where elk are if we don't pick any elk up on this side in the morning we'll probably pack up camp and head over to the other side just knowing they're there I mean there's elk there so gotta go where the elk are yeah, that one's gotta be a bull bigger, bigger body than the rest I'm at the glassing point. Um, I woke up a little bit early. Couldn't get back to sleep, it was pretty cold. Joel is still sleeping in, but I don't blame him at all. And, you know, I told him I was going up to the glassing point, but he's been waking up at like three in the morning the entire week prior to last week doing mule deer hunts. So I figure he's earned a little bit of sleep in time. Um, I can come up here and I can glass and get some intel for him and uh, we saw some cows and a couple of bulls over here about a thousand feet less than we are right now which means we're probably going to be hiking down today I figure Joel will be up here in about 15-20 minutes anyway um, but you know this is my camera I might as well be doing a vlog stuff you know I don't know how Joel signs these things out. Does he punch the camera? What? I said I haven't seen anything yet, but I've heard a bugle. still at 11,400 feet glassed didn't find any elk this morning we're still kind of just hanging out this sun's starting to burn off a lot of this uh, we've got a lot of snow and stuff on the ground from last night but um, didn't find any elk so if we continue to not find any elk on this side we're gonna pack up camp and head across the canyon get to about 10,800 feet and a little bit lower and start hunting elk over there because we found those two bulls last night uh, found nothing this morning, so we're just gonna keep chasing elk. That's the game plan. Find elk, go kill them. That's good stuff. So we've packed up, we've got a little bit of uh, cloud, wind. Maybe some rain coming in, but we're gonna hike down the mountain, off the backside, get across to that next canyon, and uh, get camp reset up and go chase those bulls that we found last night. We got everything packed up and loaded. Camp's ready to rock. We're gonna start hiking. Lethargic. They're looking for a place to bed down and they're not moving. 
to say what you're looking for is antler tips glistening in the sun, the yellow of their body, hair. You're looking for ears flickering. You're looking for branches moving if they're nibbling on a bud or if they're raking a tree. So every 15 yards, just stop, look, and listen. Move another 15 yards, stop, look, and listen. Try your absolute best to not step on anything crunchy. <laughs> is just ripping right up this canyon. We've got a perfect wind right now. So we're just going to keep working our way over there. our water stores while we're here and we'll hike up there and we'll camp against that berm. I like this. Looking for trout. Trying to find ourselves some lunch. Found an awesome little spot, nice flat area underneath these pines. Kicked out all the pine cones away from it, so we've got a nice bed of pine needles, just extra cushion for the uh, sleeping pads. And then somebody else must have thought this was a great camping spot too, because they've got a big old rock fire ring built out here. Looks like it hasn't been used for a little bit, but. Um, and the best part about this camp is they hung a meat pole. They've got a meat pole right here, already tied up and hung, and growing in with the trees. Tell you what, if that ain't good luck, I don't know what is. We're only camping, we're about a half mile down from the big meadow that we glassed those bulls in last night. I mean, we've got awesome cover down here. This is a perfect, perfect campsite to stay multiple days. We got plenty of food, now we've got water down by the river. I mean, we could stay till we kill a bull, honestly, and it wouldn't even be that hard of a hike to get back down to the trucks because now we're fairly close to the foot trail. Um, still a long hike. It'd still be like a four and a half mile hike back down, but if we had to resupply, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So it's a good spot. Setting up camp now, getting the tent ready. I probably started the hike at like 190. Great start to a weight cut. Are you saying I'm fat? Uh -uh. I'm just saying it's a great start to a weight cut for anybody. It's like kind of like when somebody offers you gum, they're telling you your breath, your breath stinks. <laughs> you know? So when I take when I take you on a death hike for elk hunting, is that me telling you that you yeah are out of shape? Yeah, that's basically Joel telling me I'm fat. He's like, hey, come to Colorado. It'll be fun. It'll be You'll fun. Be fun. Pretty sweet little device is 50 bucks a month. I think the unit itself is 300 and it's $50 a month for the service um, provided. So pretty sweet little piece of equipment to have in the back country when you don't have service, especially in the past, I've done a lot of solo hunts. So if you're solo and you have no source of somebody being able to get out of the back country and tell somebody that something happened and needs to get to you, that little thing's literally a lifesaver. So if you're uh, hunting the backcountry a lot, look into either a Zolio or a Garmin InReach. Those are both satellite devices you can use with your phone. Pretty sweet. 
I guess we're staying out here as long as we got dude wipes. <laughs> so we made the hike up from camp, and we're just pushing into where this big meadow is. We're staying off the right hand side of it because our wind is kind of pushing up to the right. We think, we think they're bedding down below. So we're getting up high right, and we're gonna get in position where that bull was last night. Just try to set up and maybe wait for the evening, see if any help come into this uh, this big meadow. Otherwise, listen for bugles. If we hear bugles, we can chase them, but I like to sit this big open meadow knowing that there was elk in here last night. So, that's the plan. This evening, no elk came in, but we saw some fresh tracks on the outside of the meadow. So there's elk in here. They just didn't come to the meadow tonight. Tomorrow we might get up a little bit higher and uh, see what we can find up there. But there's elk here. I mean, it was proof last night when we glassed that bowl and cows right here in this meadow. I mean, I'm standing. 20 feet from where that bull was last night so we're gonna slip out of here real quiet get back down to camp kind of regain plan i'm gonna be looking at the maps studying this side of the canyon because i've been studying that mountain for two weeks once we find all the elk on this side i've got some studying to do so anyway that's it for this evening's hunt we're gonna head back down to camp It's warm, dude. Trout's like money. A little extra protein, you know? Mm -hmm. God is good. God is good. Oh, jeez. snow the sun will come out and burn it off quick good little camping spot what do you think let's go kill a bull in the snow 
do it. We haven't had anything to respond in this unit. Banana flavored applesauce. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Some crushed trail mix. Pretty good. We're running out of battery stores for the Zolio and the cell phones. We're gonna hunt all day today, probably stay tonight, see what we've got for battery in the morning, and then uh, we might have to hike back down to the trucks and either refill batteries or resituate, regame plan. We'll see what we get into today for elk, but um, it's been a tough trip so far. Getting ready to go up the mountain. Um, we kind of game planned this morning, refilled our water. We were kind of socked in with some weather. Um, but what we're gonna do is, with this cold weather, with the snow coming in like it has, um, doesn't look like it right now. Where we're at, it melted off pretty good, but this morning it was snowing pretty decent. Um, I think with the cold weather, it's probably pushing these elk lower and lower with each day. What I think we're gonna do, we're gonna spend today, all of today up on the mountain. We're gonna get up high on this thing and we're gonna work all of these meadows. We're gonna work all of this dark pine, dark timber, try to get ourselves into a bull that hopefully will bugle, if not get a spot and stock situation. We're gonna camp one more night here, pack up in the morning, head down the trail and likely hunt another 600 foot down in elevation um, closer to the trailhead closer to the trucks give that probably one more day or at least one full day of hunting down there get back down to the trucks at dark and um, pack things up if we haven't killed an elk by today or tomorrow i think we've given it a freaking awesome effort we've been busting butt out here uh, the video has been incredible we've just had such gorgeous views and awesome hiking and uh, the opportunity has just been extremely low we haven't been able to find the elk very well we went and sat that meadow last night didn't see any elk we didn't see very much sign up there either uh, could have been a fluke those elk could have gotten pushed up from hunters down low but it is what it is we're going to try to find them today hopefully we get into them today if not hopefully we get into them tomorrow down low and if not i'm satisfied with that I'm satisfied with this hunt we've spent. Let's see, we left to come out here September 9th, and it's, what day is it now? September 21st, so we've given it 12 days. Um, we had a couple days in town recharging batteries, getting some editing done, but um, we've had a heck of a hunt to this point. We're gonna give it two more days of just all out effort like we have been, and hopefully we can kill a bull. Like I say, if not, I'm going to be satisfied with this hunt either way. We're just going to go after it and get after these animals and see if we can't get an arrow in one. So that's the plan. Let's ride.
Mmm. So good. The honey one's money. Mm hmm. That's cool. Ready? Yep. All right. We got camp loaded up. Got the bow strapped. We didn't get to use our meat pole. Wish we could have, but we hiked all this country today. Um, all the way up to the top, zigzagged all the way back through all these pines on this whole face of the mountain. We got back to camp. We didn't find a single uh, fresh elk sign of any kind whatsoever. So um, I'm thinking those elk that we saw the other day glassed across from the canyon a couple days ago were likely pushed up there from hunters from the bottom because like I say, we we covered this entire country, didn't find any fresh elk sign. So we got bags packed up, we got camp packed up, the wind's picking up. We're heading down the trail. We're gonna head back down towards the trucks. I wanna check out some land further down in elevation, like 8,400 feet. Um, we've been playing around that 11,000 to 10.5. So um, we're gonna try to get way further down, see if we can't find some elk down there. Give it a shot today and tomorrow. See what happens. Let's roll. It's been fun out here. It's not over yet. We're gonna check out that land down low. But this, it's gorgeous. Dude. Yeah, dude, he's on a mission. Dude, he came slamming through that pond. I wish I could have got my camera out sooner. He was just hauling. I wonder if he cut in already. Probably. I think he cut into the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's right there. He just walked through the opening. Now he's walked. We can't see him anymore. He's in the pine. Truck camping tonight. We are, so we hiked off the mountain. We kind of resituated, re game plan. We went into town, grabbed a burger, which was whew, so good. Um, decided to come back up here on the same side of the, well, not the same side of the mountain, but same entry point to the mountain, but we're gonna be on the next ridge over from where we were and uh, this one has a four-wheeler trail we can take in. So we're gonna take the four-wheeler trail in about two and three-quarter mile in the morning and uh, get off the four-wheeler trail and hunt from there. Give it one, one last good sweep. We're gonna give it one more day tomorrow. If we can't find elk sign, we can't find elk, we'll pack up, be satisfied with the hunt, but we're gonna try our darndest tomorrow to try to get one killed. So we're gonna take that thing up the four-wheeler trail tomorrow morning and see what we can't get done but right now I'm getting my truck bed situated we got the canvas cutter and I'm stuffing a King's camel bag inside the canvas cutter be all right we'll get a we'll get a nice nice night's sleep tonight wake up in the morning hit it one more time see if we can't kill an elk Do it again.
for a little bit. mountain back to the four-wheeler. It's about two o'clock right now. Should get down to the four-wheeler maybe 3.30 or 4. I think that's it. We are wrapping up. Just getting the four-wheeler put away, getting everything loaded back on the trailer. We had an awesome hunt. Regardless of not seeing too many elk, hearing too many elk, and killing no elk, it was truly an amazing experience out here. This was Ethan's first elk hunt as well, so just so much fun spending time as brothers out in the elk woods and just enjoying God's creation. We are, like I say, loading up, we're gonna be heading back to Nebraska and we're gonna start crushing whitetail content. I've got tags in like multiple different states. I think I can kill eight bucks this year. So definitely gonna be getting after the whitetail. I think the next out of state trip is probably gonna be Georgia whitetail, going to Realtree Farms in Georgia to hunt with my buddy Tyler. So yeah, should be a good time. Anyway, that is it for the elk video. Appreciate you guys watching. This was, this was super fun. Is that it? What do you think? You got anything to say? Uh, I think that's that's pretty good. Um, Sums it up. You know, this is something that uh, I'd kind of learned early on in hunting is that uh, doesn't always happen. A successful hunt doesn't necessarily end with a kill. Right. Um, yeah, it's what if, you want to define as successful. Exactly. Like if you learn something, if you've got somewhere to go back to next year. Yep. Those and types of things are huge. We definitely found some spots I'd like to check out next year. Like, if I don't draw a tag in Colorado next year, I'm definitely gonna come back to this spot and hit that spot that we were just in, but early season, we'll come back. And just do over the just counter. Just the start of the yeah. season. Yep, over the counter, so. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Definitely um, love the views. It's been, I mean. Crazy. It's, a, it's awesome out here, so. Yeah, Colorado's sweet. So guys, go try an elk trip. You can learn a lot. You'll learn a lot. Drop so. a few pounds too. I think I'm, I'm yeah, probably you're down 10. One, two, two belt loops down. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Loading up. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.